fling it home from close range. It was a simple finish for him, couldn't really miss. And then Gale, the provider for the second goal for Newcastle, he fed it to uh, Jacob Murphy. And Murphy, he just uh, cut inside and uh, slotted the ball home coolly. So uh, great for him, he'd only been on the field a few minutes. And Newcastle, who've dominated the game, now have a two-goal lead here. Main uh, Vince a lot, and uh, he put it on a plate really for Alexandra Mitrovic. So uh, a simple tap in for him, a simple finish that put Newcastle three up. And in the last few seconds, they've just uh, added a fourth goal. And uh, Jacob Murphy, who got the uh, the second goal for Newcastle, he's also on the score sheet with the fourth. Uh, neat finish from him. So Newcastle. Well in control here. Bradford have worked hard and they've made it difficult. Remember, Bradford were unbeaten. Yes, people. Right, I'm going to try and keep this nice and short and sweet. You've seen the goals. Uh, it's been a very, very, very interesting day for Newcastle United. Very positive one at that. Um, Newcastle United 4, obviously Bradford City 0. Um, not going to get too hyped about the result. Obviously, Bradford City are not in the same league as us at the moment. Um, but again, even Stuart McCall, their manager, had to say like they've played Sunderland recently and they could see the, the golf in, in quality in the first 30 seconds. That's his words, not mine. <clears throat> so again, it just shows that we're on the right path of things. But yeah, as I said, it's been a very positive day. Obviously, the Mikel Marino, Marino uh, transfer has taken everyone by surprise because there's no reports about that up until literally about probably... 6 7 pm today um and then obviously this uh result kind of flattered us in, in a way even though we were quality in the second half but um yeah all in all it's been a very positive um not even 24 hours probably like 10 hours maybe and obviously there's more to come because the deal's not finalized yet but we'll start off even before the game so Mikel marino was spotted at a freeman hospital hospital around about 7 8 pm undergoing a medical and then broke by a sky that obviously he's going to have his transfer which is apparently going to be a loan to permanent now i've not i don't know the ins and outs of it i don't know if there's a fee involved <clears throat> to be honest with you i don't even know too much about the fella only thing i know is that he's 21 maybe uh currently playing for Borussia dortmund he's only been there a season now he only made like a handful of appearances he signed from a sunsoon i think for about three million pounds Deal didn't really work out or materialise how it was meant to be because he's supposed, supposed to be like a player for the future. Um, and now we've kind of snapped him up on a loan, pretty much on a permanent deal. That's that's the whole hazy confusion of it all. But apparently we have signed him, uh, or about to sign him anyway. Uh, whether it'll be finalised tomorrow is a different story, but it'll be finalised uh, very shortly. And he's playing in a defensive midfield role. And I've been crying out for one to rival the likes of obviously Cole back at the club, Hayden's at the club. We've been playing the army there for the past couple of games during pre-season. We need someone to go alongside Shelby because it looks like Shelby's going to start pretty much every game if he is fit <clears throat> and raring to go. So Marino, if he does come in, he will be slotted in alongside Shelby and will be riding against Hayden and Cole back as well. So apparently he's been described as a box-to-box -box player, um, very athletic um, and obviously he's got youth on his side as well and he can play and he's left-footed, something that we've been looking for for a while now. Apparently we were in for Tom Kearney purely for that reason, obviously he has got ability as well but he can play with his left foot. Um, so again, if we do sign him, that is another tick. And another thing as well that he wasn't on the radar, same with Mankio who just came out of nowhere because nobody thought it was going on, going after Manki up until when we signed him. But lo and behold, we signed him. So again, it just goes to show that we can do our, our transfer dealings without you know, people swooping in and, and ruining him. So that might be the way forward. So anyway, getting onto the game now. So, Marino deal's done. Um, put a very strong line up that, and I'm very happy about that. Very happy about that. Might not show it because it's late at night, but at the same time, I am happy about it because if you see the team on screen, Elliot in goal, 
Yedlin, Lejeune, Clark, Dummett, Atsu, Shelby Captain, Hayden, Richie, Perez and Gale. You can't really get stronger than that, barring what, Lascelles. Now, Lascelles missed out, I think, purely because of a knee injury or having knee surgery, something along those lines. And obviously, there was no room for Darlow in the team. His future's up in the air and Crawl's pretty much written off. The bench was interesting, though, as well. Had the likes of Saive on there, who apparently is a service to requirements as well. And obviously, we had the, the new signing, Jacob Murphy, on the bench as well. Not going to bore you with the whole game because pretty much most of it happened in the second half. In fact, it all happened in the second half. First half, we had two real clear cut chances with Richie hitting the bar and then Shelby having a goal disallowed. Second half, it didn't take long for us to get on the score sheet. As you've seen, Gale got on the score sheet first in the 50th minute and then the second goal followed quite quickly after that. Um, obviously, through Murphy getting his first goal for the club. What a time this guy is having, and it's rumoured as well that we're actually taking a look on his other brother as well. So again, we might even have two Murphys in the team, but if he's anything like Jacob, we've got ourselves onto a winner here. Then after that, run the changes again. I think seven or eight changes were made, all in total. Everyone basically got a run out, and um, then we just sealed the deal again. The two other goals coming quite quickly as well through Mitrovic, who capped in the side. Yes, Mitrovic capped in the side. Um, I think Craig Hope um, summed it up very well right, by saying like lunatic, legend, and another L word as well. I think leader as well. That was the other one. But um, yeah, he got his goal as well, which makes it two and two for Mitro. Then obviously Murphy got his second for the game as well. So four nil overall. Um, great um, turnout by Newcastle in, in total. I think we had like two and a half thousand fans down there, considering there was seven and a half thousand at the game. Not bad for a Wednesday night friendly, you know what I mean? So it's been a really, really, really positive day. Can't really complain about it whatsoever. Um, we stuck a strong team out in the first 45, which you could, uh, you couldn't really argue about that. I mean, you could argue saying that that team could go against Spurs and, and definitely give them a game, barring the cells, maybe even Marino if he goes straight into the team. Um, Gale on the score sheet, Mitro on the score sheet, so your front two's on the score sheet already. Jacob Murphy's already returning the fee that we paid out for him. Lejeune had a good game. Um, what, else is, what else more do you want? Aaron. Oh, Bloody hell, phenomenal. Aaron's look phenomenal. Looking back at the goals now, I've created at least two of them. Um, and it's good to see the wingers in the interchange as well. We had Richie and that two starting. Then obviously Murphy come on and scored two goals. Aaron creating a couple goals as well. So all in all, fantastic game. And again, it just sets, up, sets us up nicely going into the next game on Saturday against Mainz. And then obviously we've got, um, I think it might be Wolfberg after that. And then obviously we've got Ronas Verona, I think, that's how you pronounce it. Anyway, three more friendlies to go, obviously before the start of the season, and uh, one more coming through the door as well. So before I go, I'll leave you with these words from Rafa. I think it's, uh, it's close, There's still uh, little things to, to do, but uh, hopefully we can, we can do it and we'll be another player with quality that uh, maybe uh, we need a little bit more in the squad. What will he bring to the squad? We have to finish the deal, and after we will talk about that. And in terms of what you have now, will you will you have to move players out? You think between between now and the start of the season, do you need to trim the squad? No, obviously uh, we have uh, a lot of players, and uh, we have to be sure that uh, we move uh, players out because the number is, is obvious that we have to move players uh, if we want to bring players even more important. So that is what we are. So we need to move players, and we need to bring players. And there you have it, guys. Nothing much more to say apart from. Job well done, let's get Marino signed.